Oh, Will from the in between is to let himself go. <laughs> he balls out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's how I got fired from my last job. <laughs> Do you remember uh, the bogey table at Mum and Dad's? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we are just a couple of business anchors. Welcome to the Business Anchors Podcast. This jingle is slightly too long. This jingle is slightly too long. Welcome to the Incomplete Script Podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> Lloyd. That was a joke. <laughs> Incomplete script. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Welcome to the Business Anchors Podcast, episode 14. I, I, you'll probably already know, but we're talking about humour. <laughs> uh, we're going to challenge each other not to laugh, share our best jokes, and discuss how humour and comedy can help when it comes to business. Um, I feel, don't judge the level of humour on that intro. That was, I've actually got some really... I, I'm most excited to share some of these things to make you laugh. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you going to do that thing again where you get excited for a part of the podcast that's later, so you just keep saying, can we do that now? <laughs> no, no, I will wait, but can we do it now? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're gonna, the reason we thought we'd talk about humour is because obviously I'm hilarious and Dan's not, so we thought it'd be quite a good discussion. Yeah, Lloyd is funny, looking. <laughs> oh, we do have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this um, has really not set the tone very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be like this cheesy the whole way through. Um, uh, something I think is strange well interesting about humor Mm. is obviously it's just subjective so i i was i was thinking of introducing this thing and saying you know oh we use humor a lot in in our business and in our client projects and people might think that we might just be thinking no you don't do you (laughs) but um yeah yeah i I think we have quite a strange Mm. sense of humor at times so there may be people that probably have watched stuff we've done and then just switched off straight away and thought no thank you I think we've um, humour is a massive part of our kind of personal lives and our work life because I don't know we just you you really know how to push my I was gonna say funny buttons but like humour <laughs> buttons. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't because um, I don't know. Just over the years, you know the things to say or whisper in my ear that will just make me hysterically I laugh. I was I was thinking that because I so both you and my mate Johnny so so they. Dan and Johnny were my uh, best men at my wedding. Mm. Um, and I, I did think, have I just surrounded myself by people that laugh at me? I'm not actually funny <laughs> yeah. to anyone else. But you and Johnny both, I could say almost anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're laughing now. Yeah. You? So, I could say almost anything and you're like, oh, you're so funny. So I think over the years, I, I probably know. was just like, I should hang around with these guys more. <laughs> yeah. On, yeah. This feels good. But I do, I don't know, I... I you know they say like I can't remember what the saying is. I always forget the sayings, but love is like the the they something. Say, uh, <laughs> live, laugh, love. <laughs> no, I've got that quote on my kitchen wall. <laughs> um, no, like laughter, it, it's sure that there is some kind of science behind it. It makes you feel good, doesn't it? When you yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um. Tell me the technical. Because we're scientists, that you know. Dope, we're, we're scientists. Scientists. <laughs> um, you know, dopamine or serotonin. You know, <laughs> some one of those things probably happens. Yeah. Um. But we do we do laugh a lot. I think compared to a lot of people, I don't mm. know how many how many times do you laugh a day? Put a number on it. Uh, on my last count, it was sixty two and a half. Was it? Yeah. You've been counting. Yeah. Um. I I think we laugh a lot at work. Mm. I think there are times. Yeah. Like, I mean, yesterday we mainly just all had our heads down and we're working really hard and we probably seemed like we never laughed and it was I, the most depressing place ever. Sorry. But um, <laughs> Barney's nodding behind the camera. <laughs> but um, most days I do think we laugh quite a I lot just, within the business. Sorry, Sorry, whenever I think of something, I have to say it because I because I just thought of something. <laughs> what? what? Something really that me and the the team have been laughing at Lloyd about recently. Oh, <laughs> <that's> great. <laughs> no, you know about it. Basically, there's uh, the we live <laughs> we live and we work on an industrial estate in an industrial unit thing that's we, converting. Hang, we don't live here. No, I mean we work here. Sorry, and we're surrounded for, by for the authorities for tax purposes. We don't live. So <laughs> it stays downstairs. <laughs> no, there's we're surrounded by fields. And all the field, like, and you know, every once in a while they spread, they basically just spread shit on the fields and the whole place smells. Mm. Um, we've been, we were laughing because it's been smelling loads. And then you, you went away for a holiday for a few mm. days and the smell went. And then <laughs> oh. when you came back, the smell came back and we, we all just say, say Lloyd stinks. See, shit. see the problem with humor, <laughs> you know, when you tell other people about something that's been really funny and, and then it's like, oh, you had to be there. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, well. Uh, we enjoy it anyway. We enjoy yeah. taking the piss out. Of you. I've got a question for you before we get into the main uh, meat of this. Go on. 
uh, animal. Mm. Um, but you don't eat animals. Would you say you're funny? No. But are you, like in your head, are you thinking? No, no. Yeah, I genuinely, I, I know I'm not the. F- you're the funny one. I'm. I'm not the funny one. No. I, I laugh. I'm good at laughing, but that doesn't mean you're funny. That means you're good at. <laughs> oh, put that on the top of your CV. Like. <laughs> no, I mean really good at laughing. I uh, I laugh a lot at you because you're funny. Would you say you're funny? I let me guess. Oh no, I'm not. You're gonna do the whole. Oh no, no, no. I I well, the funny thing is, I do think I'm funny, but as in, I really make myself laugh. Yeah. So I I think I'm funny you, because I laugh at things I do and say. You were laughing at yourself preparing for this podcast. Yeah, but I understand that I think a lot of people wouldn't think I'm funny because mm. I've got quite a strange sense of humour. Yeah. Well, actually, no. A lot of the feedback we get from our content is people saying you're funny. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you see, we had another reference to Simon Bird, the the cat yeah. yeah, that plays oh, Will in, in between us. What, what was it this time? What did they say? Oh, well, I wonder what Will I did after. What Will did after in between us or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good one. Better than the one we had before when just said, "Oh, Will from the in between us will let himself go." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Basically saying, you look like a horrific version of Will from The Inbetweeners. Yeah. Um, I don't like that Barney's smirking. He obviously agrees. <laughs> um, <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> I'm up. Um, cool. So, uh, humour. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. I when, I when we were prepping for this, I was thinking about humour and funny stuff and things. Mm. And I was wondering, do you find stand-up comedy funny? Y- yes, but it has certain people. Yeah. Because I, 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 I think I'm the same. So there's some comedians I do find funny, but mm. I actually, I think I laugh far more and like find things a lot funnier. What in real life? In real life, like things that accidentally happen and people make jokes. Mm. Yeah, I, I laugh a lot more on like panel shows and people just bouncing off each oh, other. Okay, yeah. Than when someone stands in front on Goes, stage and yeah. tries to make everyone laugh. Yeah. I think that's probably because it's so challenging. But yeah. Yeah, I guess it, as well, you got the thing of they're there to make you laugh. So you're really, there's a lot of pressure mm. and you're thinking, oh, when they're going to make me laugh. Whereas when it's more yeah. uh, spontaneous, when things happen that you yeah. don't expect, that kind of spontaneous yeah. element makes you. There is one um, comedian that I always, when I think of you and me, this stand up I yeah. think of, and it's um, Peter Kay. Yeah. I think you used to have one of the stand ups on, on a, a video. VHS tape. <laughs> Dan are they VHFs or VHS? VHS. VHFs are the cheap version of WKD used to get in Asda. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to... Can I tell you a story about VHFs? <laughs> Go on. So when I was younger... <laughs> Wait, what I, age? Uh, nine, between 17 and 19. Yeah. Um, Barbara, one of my friend's... Uh, <laughs> mate, one of my friend's mums used to buy us alcohol from Asda. Um, <laughs> controversial. Um, and... Obviously, we used to get multi packs of VHFs because we were VHFs or VHSs? absolute lads. VHFs. Okay. And they used to have different flavors in this. So you have like orange, um, lemon, yeah, uh, blueberry, and then one dandelion and burdock. Yeah. So I used to have a brilliant time because we used to split the crate between us and be like, mm. okay, so we've all got probably three. And we've probably hammered. <laughs> so we've all got three, and we just used to randomly pick them out, and then mm. it'd be like no one except me like dandelion and burdock mm. so what i used to do is i used to swap one of my flavors mm. for two dandelion and burdocks mm. so i really really controlled the market there. so um yeah that's my uh, that reminds me of when you when i you used to really take advantage of me when i was younger i remember you used to swap my dirty paper money for your shiny coins yeah well that was dang about you got the shiny ones on, <laughs> didn't you <laughs> you had much more shiny ones than i did I had all that dirty paper money <laughs> with the twenties on it, Ooh. Um, and yeah, well, well, we still do that, don't you? Um, the, when we when we make a profit from the business, I'll give you some shiny money to put in your box, um, and I take the horrible paper money. Yeah. Um, yeah. Evil. Yeah. What was the last thing you really laughed at? Like belly laughed. I, do you know what? I was thinking this earlier. I I don't I don't remember you, I don't remember you like and I, loads and loads. And I feel I felt a bit sad because I can't remember the last time I properly. You know when you can't stop laughing, yeah. and you're belly laughing. I can't yeah. remember the last time I did that. Oh, that's sad. and that's yeah. Well, that's depressing, isn't it? Yeah. But I laugh a lot. But I haven't had that kind of. I feel like when I was in my teens, me and my group of friends, we used to laugh mm. like that every day because we used to do such stupid stuff. Mm. But yeah, I can't think of when I was proper belly mm. laughing like that. What about you? I am um, in <laughs> Afterlife, Ricky Gervais. 
the psy- the psychiatrist. Have you seen oh. it? You know, and he's really rude and yeah. just. Yeah, I just could. I oh, just was crying I, at that. That's probably my least favorite part of Afterlife. I really didn't. Oh, find really? That funny or it's yeah, it's subjective. God, comedy and humor is subjective, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I mean that that it was an emotional roller coaster. Mm. Afterlife, I am. Mm. Um, oh, I'm emotional anyway. But you I cry s- anything? Yeah, sobbing all the way through. That. Do you remember on the the talking about humor? Mm. Our granddad, uh, I think he's the the kind of hub of our family comedy. Yeah, definitely. Because he um he he'll kind of tell you a story or we'll start oh no, not tell you a story, so we start talking to you and you're kind of listening and, and waiting to react and then about seventy five percent of the way through you realise it's it's a long joke. Yeah. Because he'll just go, because um, obviously when when your granddad comes to speak to you, you're not just gonna start laughing like oh, what are you so <laughs> so you're genuinely listening. Oh granddad's got something to say to me. And so we'll come go, day, I was walking was, down I was walking in the village, went into the uh, bakery and so obviously we're like, all right, all right, granddad. <laughs> and then, it, then you realise after five minutes of him talking, there's the punchline. Like, oh, how, how underwhelming that joke was. But oh. um, no, it's, yeah, mm. it is funny. His, but I, I do think that does make him funny. The fact that his delivery, you can never tell if he's joking or if he's <laughs> genuinely telling you something. So you're always yeah. on that thing of, Oh, I'm not sure I should laugh because yeah. I think he might just be telling me about his week. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You don't want to misjudge it, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> yeah. How yeah. um, how you know you're quite funny? How have you? Wow. <laughs> yeah. How have you? Have you done anything to to do that, or have you just? Because you you weren't you like have the I, class clown? When have you were I younger? done anything? What done a course? No, no, no. But do you know what I mean? Do you actively? I can imagine you're that sad that you probably actively like watch comedians and then learn and from study. Them. Yeah. No, my friends. My so my friends say that I do. <laughs> so if I basically, <laughs> um, so and if you're listening, uh, you do this, and I know you listen. So um, well, I think this is mainly you. So if I say anything funny, yeah, because Ange isn't funny, right? Yeah. He thinks that I've been studying and like um, trying to. So before I've met up with him, I've been I've been Thinking writing funny things down to say, <laughs> and he always says to me, "Oh, how long have you been waiting to say that?" Then <laughs> I'm like, I don't I don't have a sort of ten minute session before uh, making notes. Oh, what could I say funny in this situation? What's happened in the news yeah. this week? Can... But yeah, my fr- so my friends definitely think I do mm. study to try and be funny. Um, uh, emphasis on try because mm. I don't I don't think they necessarily think I'm funny, but yeah. they think I try to be funny. Yeah. Um, but I I do just think because I do definitely use humour like in my day to day life obviously again like I I think it's funny yeah but I don't think everyone does yeah but um, I think it's how just how do you how do you use humour in your day to day life well I think just in general some some people you meet in general conversations very serious so that like the communication is functional so it's yeah. like oh you doing this thing are you yep. doing this thing yeah some people are you doing this thing and then they go, their Wee! immediate response is if there is something you could possibly make some kind it of balls joke out. Or, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and that's how I got fired from my last job <laughs> no do you see what I mean like some people yeah. communication is functional like have, I need to say this to them have and you some, ever met someone where I'm trying to think of who but I've definitely met someone like this where everything they say is a joke and it's like you kind it of get, eventually it gets, it gets a bit much. tiring and yeah. you're like like my cheeks hurting from pretending to smile at everything <laughs> yeah, you're saying. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Definitely met people like that. I, and I do think, I think it shows like in, you know, in the kind of work we do business wise with humor, with videos for clients and stuff. Mm. If you're trying to push it too much and like the humor isn't really there, but you're just trying to make it happen. Mm. And I think it's the same with talking to people. Yeah. It's, it gets a bit like, oh. I've definitely oh, done that uh, before speaking on stage a couple of times I can remember when <laughs> I've tried to I've not I never try to be really because I'm not funny but like you say something a you bit a bit comical yeah. I can't remember I think it was at one of one of Andrew and Pete's events yeah. um, and I remember kind of taking the piss out of them and all of all of their community are proper big fans of Andrew and Pete and yeah. I was like huh, they're wankers aren't they or something like something like that and then it was just dead silent and I was yeah. like huh. It's one of those guys. No, no, it was a joke, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they all switched off. Um, something I thought of. There, there's one thing that yeah. I have watched a huge amount of times, and it makes me laugh every single time. A and film. 
no 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 uh, a short little video so in the video version of this on youtube we can cut it in but i'm gonna i'm gonna show you dan and explain what's happening okay, to on. the listeners so i don't know if you've uh is he got, seen this it it's called man falls down the side of the thames or something oh yeah uh... so so just film randomly film the thames someone and then he, he zooms into some oh steps, yeah and then this guy just falls <laughs> and he like <laughs> So he falls and he's like on all fours and he's just, because the steps are slippery leading down to the Thames, he's just slowly going into the Thames, fully clothed and just slips in there. Now I've, I reckon I've watched that over a hundred times mm. and I've never been able to watch it and not laugh. Even, you, you just did. No, no, I, I did laugh. Did you? I checked, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, you planned that laugh. And yeah, and I think it's weird how so so stand up comedians that their mm. job they're like turn these jokes and a lot of the mm. time I'm kind of like hmm. <laughs> but then that thing of a man slipping down some steps mm. into the Thames yeah I can't watch without laughing yeah it's weird isn't it yeah there's a lot of uh, uh, funny things on TikTok do you, do, you, do you spend much time on TikTok nowadays yes yeah, so every time I go to the toilet yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not we that's awkward yeah I need two hands there's um something else I was thinking of which uh let's see if you remember this again okay. i'm sorry this isn't businessy or anything but i just thought of we are going to talk about business stuff yeah we're going to talk about business stuff yeah. about this i um i just started getting on a roll of uh like remember when things that move mm. between me and you and there's a couple of things like do you remember uh <laughs> the bogey table at mum and dad's <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you remember that oh yeah that's horrible why was that a thing I'll let you explain, Lloyd. Wow. (laughs) So, in my parents' living room, there was this round coffee table for basically our whole childhood. And me and, I don't, obviously my... I think we did this independently as well. Yeah, my parents didn't know, but just for our whole childhood, like, so say, I say we were watching TV, sitting on the carpet, or just playing a game. Like, we would just both pick our nose and wipe it on the underside of that table for years and then I think when we were kind of teenagers and I think they were getting rid of the table or something, kind of looked at each other, oh, getting rid of the bogey table. And my mum was like, the what table? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we've, we've just been wiping bogey. Yeah, you look at, the- oh, makes us feel a bit sick. We've just been wiping bogeys on the underside of a table. Uh, I- I've uh, got, right, I'm going to do a quick, uh, go on, um. quick uh, call to action to the oh. viewers. Um, and then we're going to get into more things to make each other okay, laugh. Okay, go on. Okay. That was a good one, by the way. I oh, forgot yeah. about the bogey table. Yeah. Um, so, just quickly, um, last week we got you to support one of the anchors, Aidan, who's hopefully running London Marathon for charity. And the anchors did come out and support. I saw at least one of you. Um, I think there's probably more that um, I haven't checked it recently that sponsored Aidan. So, thank you very much. I know he's very grateful. Mm. And um, I do still want, if there are any other anchors doing anything that you would like us to shout out that's positive the, for the world in some way or or that you need a bit of help with something mm. please let us know because we we want to start this community and um yeah do more positive stuff Support the so, yes yeah. right now on to um i've i've put in my notes this is the make each other laugh round i don't know what you oh, if you've made any notes other than this bogey table but i've just written <laughs> i've got just got three bullet points that i think oh, I've they're got- not jokes Oh, I've got jokes. I, I've got jokes after this, but that I think oh, will, that I think will make you laugh. Okay, you ready? I don't know. Now you've said it though. Okay. Um, Barney, you may want to take your headphones off slightly. Well, you, are you oh, you're that confident that you. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now now it makes Dan laugh. Now you need some con. Now oh, now the no, listeners need some con. Like That's okay, Barney. I've done that now. <laughs> Um, now you need some context. So we we spoke about Granddad earlier. That is Granddad. We spoke about Granddad. So Granddad's probably his number one joke is to just um, go near any other human uh, and act as if he's going to speak to you, or sometimes just sneak behind you, um, clap his hands as loud as he can, and shout bang as loud as he can. Um, and that's his probably number one joke. Um. Normally. People don't laugh. They just uh, are really scared. Sometimes young children cry. <laughs> but I thought it would make Dan laugh because uh, I thought he'd recognise What about that. the game he used to play? Erzy Berzy. Erzy Berzy used to get your jersey. Yeah. That's that a good. classic. Classic. Um, 
Okay, I've got now something else from my childhood that I think will make you laugh. Well, actually, no, it might not make you laugh, but mm. it really makes me laugh, mm. <laughs> even imagining it. Go on. So, right, I need to, hang on, let me be able to say it. Go on. So, in, my parent, in, our, in our parents' living room, Do I know sure. this or not? I just know. Yeah, 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 mm. it's literally something you did. Mm. Um, in our parents' oh, living room. I, know, I think I know what you're going to say. So they've got... <laughs> oh, no, I know what you're going to say. They've got a sofa one side, oh. and then they've got, like, two armchairs with a table in the middle on another side. And for some reason, it's something to do with, oh, in summer we like it this way, and then in winter we like it this yeah, way. that's weird, so isn't it? So every six months, they switch it round, so the big th- um, three-seater sofa gets uh, switched with the two sofas and the table. And... Uh, it, <laughs> I can't remember how old we were, but it got to that day in the year that happens every six months that they switch those around. <laughs> so Dan Dan comes r- <laughs> running into the now, room. Bear in mind, I'm doing this for six months. Whenever I go in the room, I do it. Running into the living room like as fast as he could, and he just um, absolutely flung himself backwards to jump onto the sofa. But obviously, where it's been switched around, he just flung himself backwards onto this uh, table. It looked a bit like bogey table, a bit smaller. <laughs> and um, and it, he basically, it looked Back like, a, you know, like in wrestling, they slam people through tables. <laughs> yeah. It basically looked like that. And um, Burst out crying. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he cried a lot and had a big mark on his back because he just <laughs> put all of his weight onto a coffee table. Oh. But um, that didn't make you laugh as much as it no. makes me laugh. But I had to mention it. Um, and then another weird one with no context before we get to jokes that other people actually Go find on. funny. If you walk into the fridge, don't, don't worry, I do it all the time. How do I remember that? Um, I don't know. DJ Farmer, hit no, the heart. No laughs again. So not a great example. So we, we let's not dwell on that. But that I don't even know why we used to sing that. You used to do weird stuff. You used, to, you used to walk into the fridge and bash your head and then walk away. I Is it one of those things where I was your big brother and I was like trying to make you laugh with stuff that wasn't funny but because you were younger you found yeah. it really funny? Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on. That's a bit cringy. So, <laughs> have, you, have you got any jokes? Yeah. Okay. So, listeners, I want you, if, if you're on social media Someone's watching quite this rude. or YouTube. I need to try and vet a Oh, yeah. Don't, don't go. God, don't offend the I'm listeners. I'm going to go really rude. But. Um. Yeah, let us know what your favourite <laughs> joke is that you hear. Or, or if you've got a better joke, please, can you send uh, it to us? I, I don't think you're going to find any of these funny, but I just they tickled me. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. How many you got? About 15. Oh, God, I got four. Shall I go and then yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, go, we'll have a go, break? Go, yeah. Oh, okay, ready? Yeah. My wife came home crying yesterday and asked me to console her. So I hit her over the head with an Xbox. Oh, that's rubbish. Oh, was that, I thought that was good. Oh, are they all going to be like this? Uh, <laughs> just just seen a French footballer playing on a Nintendo. It was Thierry on Wii. <laughs> oh, these are so obviously just Google jokes, aren't they? Um, are they all about games consoles? No. No? Burnt yeah. my Hawaiian pizza today. Should have put it on a lower setting. Oh, on a lower <laughs> setting. Okay, yeah. Slight snigger. Uh, <laughs> I like this one. Sorry. Uh, I met a girl with 12... Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I met a girl with 12 nipples today. Sounds fun. Doesn't tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was... That was... <laughs> uh, that was good. Yeah, okay. I, I approve that one. Okay. I'll give you one. Go on. Knock, knock. He's there. Interrupting sheep. Interrupting bah! sheep. Heard that one from my childhood. Oh, okay. um, sorry, sorry, Barney. That was in I, your ears. I like this it? one. Yeah. If you see someone doing a crossword today, lean over them and say, Seven up is, is lemonade." <laughs> <laughs> These are cringy. These are. <laughs> sorry. Uh, um, having a charity event for people that struggle to orgasm. Let me know if you can't come. <laughs> Okay, that's quite good. Um, Today at the bank, an old lady asked me to check her balance. Oh, yeah. So I pushed her over. (laughs) (laughs) That is so rubbish. Um, Fell asleep at a party last night and someone put a tea bag in my mouth. I went mental. No one treats me like a mug. (laughs) That is good. I um, I was in this bar (laughs) and uh, a bird walked in. Oh, yeah. And he said to the barman, he got... He? Yeah, the bird. Oh, you, you're saying bird is in a, an animal? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, literally a bird. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. They walked into the bar 
And he said, you got any chips? And the uh, bomb said, no, we, we don't serve food here. And he said, you got any chips? Mm. Said, no, I, I've just told you, we don't serve food <laughs> here. We got beer, we got soft drinks. Mm. You got any chips? He said, if you ask me if we've got <laughs> chips one more time, I'm going to get a hammer, get a load of nails, and nail your beak to the bar. He said, got any nails? No, got any chips? Editor, if you could just add in uh, that sound. You know when something just just doesn't work? <laughs> wow. That wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you not get it? Or is uh, it just not funny? Uh, no, I didn't quite get it. So it, so he Oh oh no, you can't you can't explain a joke Go that on. makes it work. He, so he said he's gonna nail his beak to the bar yeah. and he said, Have you got any nails? And he said no. So he just said, You got any chips? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, we do have a laugh here oh, on the Business good. Anchors podcast. <laughs> I've got one just to lighten the mood. Oh, Ready? Oh, God, that did not go down well. I went to the zoo the other day. Yeah. Yeah. There was only one dog in it. It was a shit zoo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh. What does Mr. Kipling do in his spare time? Fill tarts with cream. Yep. That was from our childhood as well. Yeah. Oh, weird childhood. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think this is um, this is a terrible way to end uh, part one. But I think if we tell any more terrible jokes, we're just going to lose more and more oh. listeners. Um, so, guys, we really need you to send in some jokes because um, you oh, heard, heard how badly some that people went. People online gave me some really good ones. I'll do it in part two. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, guys, listen to part two in a minute. We'll we'll hear jokes from other people, so they'll be funny. So uh, good idea. Yeah. Also, don't forget. Let us know if you want us to the anchors community to support anything. Thanks, guys. See you in part two when we're going to be talking about the the more businessy side of humor and how we use humor in business, and hopefully it'll be funnier than part one. See you then. See you then. Ha <laughs> ha.